Hi there guys, this is Nikhil from Greedy Tech. In this video, I am going to show you how you can download and install Moki ROM on Redmi Note 4G. So to download the Moki ROM, you need to go to this particular website that is download.mokidev.com. So I leave this link in the description area below this video. So once you open this web page, on the left side you have an option to search for devices. So here is that search enter device. In this area you need to enter redmi and while you are entering you will get some options on the right side. You need to select the second option. So, so over here it will give you the download links for the ROM. So just in case confirm that it is the redmi note 4G and now this is the download link. You can download the ROM from here. Now we need to download the key apps. For that you need to go to this page I leave the link to this page in the description area below this video. So once you open this up it will look something like this and you have different packages and you can choose whichever package that you want that is if you just want the google play store you can choose one package or if you can if you want just the basic apps you can go for mini modular package and you can go for micro and nano modular package. You can choose any package that you want if you just want to go with the default one you can go with mini modular package so you need to download these two files so i'll leave the link to this pages in the description area below this video so once you do that you need to enter the recovery mode so to do that you need to power off your device So once the device is turned off, you need to press power and volume off buttons at the same time until you see the MI logo. So once you see this logo, just keep it aside. I have already installed the custom recovery on this device. If you want to know how to install that, you can see one of my videos. I leave a link to that video in the description area. So once you are here, make sure you take a backup of your current OS. And now we need to wipe the data, for that go to wipe and format options and now wipe cache, click yes, just give it some time, it is done. Now you need to do a factory reset, select the first option and say yes. So I have already downloaded those two files and placed it in the internal storage, even you have to do the same thing. You can either download it directly to the phone or you can download it to your PC and copy it to the internal storage of your phone. So once you do the factory reset, you go back and select install zip and now choose this from SD card and you need to select this particular file that is mk444 and so on. Now say yes. So currently Moki ROM is supposed to be the best ROM, it is supposed to be very stable. So give it a try and if you find any problem with that please let me know. So we are currently installing the Moki ROM over here. So now it is finished, now we need to install the KitKat version of the G apps. Now once again choose it from SD card. Now select the KitKat app. That is G apps underscore KitKat. Now say yes and now it will install the gapp. I have only chosen the nano version that is the play store version. So I will have only the play store. Now let's go back and reboot to the system. So as it is the first boot it might take some time let's say 5 minutes or even 10 minutes. Just don't touch your device or don't try to do anything with it. So that's the boot animation it has or it might be the boot animation from the Sanderson Mod 12 version. So guys now the device has turned on. This is the Moki open source operating system. Now let us select the language. So I'm selecting English India. Let's directly jump into the OS ok so this is the KitKat version of the Moki ROM 
you might see occasionally some Chinese ads. This looks very familiar with the signage mod. So even the camera is supposed to be working. The camera is also working. Uh, there are almost no bugs or uh, nobody has been complaining about it. So you can definitely give it a try. So I'll just give you a small preview of this hole. So this is the Moki ROM. This is your normal home screen. This is the Google Now Launcher. So let's go to the settings. So as the stock ROM, you have the Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, mobile data and data usage. Additionally, you have personalization things such as lock screen, themes, dynamic system bar, status bar, smart control, notification drawer, device settings, and once again the normal sound display buttons and all. And down below you have the profiles and additionally you have performance tweak, super user app directly integrated into your settings and Moki Center. Using the performance tab you can overclock or underclock your CPU and do stuff like that but I would suggest you not to do that unless you are a really pro. Next going with Moki Center you have some additional options over here, additional customizations and moreover you have the themes like Panagen mod even on this Moki ROM. So that's it guys, thanks for watching the video. If you have any doubts, then please let me know by commenting below this video. And if you found this video to be helpful, then please hit the like button and share it with your friends. And please subscribe to my channel to see more videos just like this.